so I think something that needs to be done um, straight uh, uh, of the bat is to be like super organized. Hey, Anthony from the future is speaking. Anthony from the past was totally right. Turns out I was not organized at all and that it was harder than I thought. But before starting with this video, let me tell you a bit more about this challenge. So I recently started this YouTube channel where I'm talking about coding and stuff, but I didn't add any website for it, which is by itself quite paradoxical, right? But anyway, the coding challenge was quite straightforward. The goal was to design and code the best, fanciest, most beautiful, responsive, bug-free kind of linking your personal website ever. And obviously it needs to be working on mobile, desktop, and be coded in a single day. And all of that while I'm recording this video at the same time. Well, like you can imagine, it didn't turn out like a thought it would. But anyway, let's go back to the challenge now. Okay, it's time, to, it's time to start the challenge. So I have until the end of the day, exactly 9 p.m., maybe earlier, to finish this uh, one page of website. I'm super excited about this challenge, but it would be hard. So let's get started. Uh, so I think something that needs to be done um, straight uh, uh, of the bat is to be like super organized, right? And I'm probably the worst in terms of organization. So, to stay organized today, I will start by a mind map. So for me, a mind map is just laying down what needs to be done and trying to find inspiration on the internet and just everything on the same page and trying to organize my idea and find like the best way to, to move forward. Once that is done, uh, I will quickly design the thing and I will cut it. Um, so let's open Figma for that. I pretty much know where I need to go. I know that for instance, my channel right now just doesn't make sense at all. If you open the page, I'm using black, green and yellow, which doesn't make sense at all. And I know I want to go toward more like greenish. Why? Because I don't know, I like it, but like what's the meaning, uh, what's the meaning of green? Uh, Green, the color of life, renewal, nature, energy, associated with growth, harmony, freshness, safety, fertility, and environment. <laughs> so yeah, I want my uh, website to uh, reflect freshness and fertility. <laughs> uh, no, but I just, I just like the color, right? So what I will do, I will start to go to, uh, on Dribble. Uh, for me, Dribble is the best place to find inspiration. I'm not a good designer, I'm a good copier. Uh, I, lo I love to say that every time. Uh, so what I do in general is I just find designs with good colors, with color that resonates with me, and I just copy them. There's nothing wrong into copying someone. Actually, it's quite flattering, right? For instance, I know that I love uh, Balkan Brothers. They're quite like good designers. And in general, they have good, uh, good colors. Like, you know, like straight away, uh, I can tell you that I like this green. I like it a lot, actually. Let's just like copy that. There we go. And we'll add it to the to our Figma. So we saved those colors. Then I will try to find like many examples. We don't need like to have the tons, just two or three. So we show that we're not doing that like uh, too fast. I cook straight away, I love that. I, I know that my website, I really want to go toward the dark mode because I love that. And, <laughs> and I think the only color I need is black, white, and green. So actually this looks dope. So I will just copy that as well. So we have two greens that I like. And then uh, let's find another one quickly. Uh, we have to move fast. This one is perfect. Like exactly like what I like. Okay, let's copy that as well. I think those uh, three greens looks dope. So I just need to think that I will most likely have white text on this green. So I need to make sure that it works well. And I think this one works quite well. So I might, I might go for this one. So my colors will be this green, this black here, yeah, which looks dope. Actually, I will go for like a, a pure black. I'll go, yeah, and they will fit obviously. And we'll go for pure, pure white as well. Uh, I'm a simple guy. 
There we go. So this is our three colors we are working with. Now what needs to be done? Uh, so I think I want uh, my socials to be displayed. I want my latest uh, videos to be displayed as well. And I want, I want a dope animation to be displayed. I think that's pretty much it. Let's get started. So, okay, I'm done with the design. They're not complicated, they're quite straightforward, but I have no time to, to spare on that. So it's 2.30 p.m. right now, and I still didn't code anything. <laughs> so I will start to do that right now. To go fast today, I will use the tool I know and I love. I will use Next.js, TaskScript, and Tailwind CSS to write my CSS super fast. So I have a new Next.js project set up right now, and I will just Time lapse that because it would be too boring to see you otherwise. So let's do that. Okay, so it's, now it's 7 p.m. I'm almost done with the challenge. The only problem is, is the quality of the animation I was expecting to have is not there. I'll do a quick demo so you can see what I mean. So everything works, I expected. You see, I have my, uh, I have my face moving. So this is the animation I was I was going for. The only issue is that when uh, when the image resizes, there's this weird quality happening. It looks kind of bad. I don't think I will have time to go for another solution. Uh, the solution I have right now is to try to export it, export every frame in a better quality, and and up pray for <laughs> pray for the best for for it to work perfectly. But so far so good. It works on mobile. It works actually. Re it actually looks nice on mobile. Hey, Anthony from the future again. So, what about the challenge? It was a success. I was able to code it, to deploy it, but I didn't have time to film everything. The truth is that I wasn't satisfied at all with how the animation turned out. It looked really cheap, and I think it was super lazy for me to use images instead of characters. So, <laughs> yes, there is a so. I couldn't let it go and I refactored my code. So now the animation is made of text instead of images and I'm using different shades of grey to display the nuances of my face. It looks much better and looks much closer from the look I wanted to go for. So now the website is online and you can access it with the URL anto.ooo. I'm quite proud of this URL. <laughs>
I really hope you enjoyed this one. Tell me in the comment if you have any idea of coding challenges I can do next. I'm really curious about that. See you really soon with another video. Bye.